Bad baseball pitch count tallies. When is enough enough? All right, guys. Chris Sloan here with Bad Baseball and SelectBaseballTeams.com. And it's a little bit nicer weather. Baseball is full effect here, so I figured I'd come outside and enjoy some of the nicer weather we're having here. Uh, let's just jump right in. I want to talk a little bit about bad baseball pitch counts, or better known as overuse of your younger player's arm, right? I see it in Facebook groups and conversations with my friends uh, at high school games that they're at, and it, it's really become... I guess it's become the normal uh, to see kids just rode for 80, 90, you know, depending on their age, and upwards of 100 plus pitches in a game from week to week, which to me is ridiculous, right? Most of these teams have more than enough pitchers that that shouldn't be a problem. And so what I see is guys throwing around, hey, here's what the USA Baseball regulation numbers are for this age group or that age group, and, you know, if you're using that as a guide, that should help you, right? Like start there, go see what they say. But the, there's, there's a lot of things that those things don't really consider. And then unfortunately, uh, coaches and parents oftentimes forget. Uh, and so I want to talk a little bit about that as well. So let's say that, and again, I'm using this number as an example. I don't have it in front of me, but let's say that it's 80 pitches a day for a 12U player, okay? Um, what that means is 80 pitches total, not pitches that he threw just in the game that you counted legal pitches, but what about the 20 or 30 pitches he threw in warm-up? What about the seven or five innings he, let's say six innings he pitched and threw eight warm-up pitches in each one of those six, in six innings? Now he's at 48 pitches and his 20 or 30 warm-ups, he's, he's done for the day and he hasn't thrown a pitch in the game yet. So if he gets 80, I mean, what's he at, 55 or somewhere around 50, 60? I mean, you ultimately have to take all of that into consideration when you're talking about the health of these kids' arms. And, you know, if it's a high school kid, I mean, obviously kids mature at different times, different ages. I mean, that, that all should come into play, you know, the size of the kid and that sort of thing. I mean, as far as, like, their maturity and strength and so forth. But the guides are there to help you, and you have to take all of that into consideration. A couple of examples of things that I can think of are uh, just this past week, some conversations on Facebook uh, with guys seeing a, I believe it was a 10U, maybe a 12U pitcher, but let's just say, let's say 12U for sake of the argument. A 12U pitcher, he threw back-to-back -back days, he threw 84 pitches in one day and 120 pitches the next day. Okay, that's 200 recorded pitches or more in two days by a 12-year-old. Okay, why is that? Who would do that? What, what is wrong with you? If you are that coach, you need to stop. If you are a parent and that is your child, you need to yank that child off the team right now. There's no place for that. Like that is you're damaging your son. If he wants to play past the age of 15 high school, he's gonna have to have surgery. Another example that I can think of is a kid who played for a state championship team last year and had bone spurs taken out of his arm over the summer. So he had some issues and surgeries that had to occur in his arm. This year, with, with it, so within the year, he's had surgery. He's playing this year, and in two games, the first two starts that he had, he threw 97 pitches and 120-plus pitches. Okay? ridiculous the kid had surgery granted it wasn't Tommy John's or something to that extent but his arm is still tender and still in the healing process there's no way he needs to throw that many pitches I don't care if it's a high school game at the end of the day that that's all it is a high he's not getting paid for that right it's a high school game it's just like these games where coaches pitch kids because they're getting a plastic ring or some fake WWE belt or some other crappy trophy. Stop it. It's not worth the kid. And if you were the coach of my son doing that, I can promise you, like, it would come to words and it might get worse than that if I saw my son being abused in that way. He would definitely be off the team and not playing anymore and we would go somewhere else. If you're paying for that, you absolutely need to look elsewhere. So, 
I, I know I'm getting kind of heated and animated because it's something that I'm really passionate about, but ultimately you cannot do that to these kids if they're going to continue to be able to play from the time to you know they're 10, 12, 14, high school, college, and then some of them maybe if, they ha- if they're that lucky, one out of a million to get to play professionally in some way and get paid to enjoy the game. So I uh, hope you guys take that to heart. I hope you know you think about it and talk about it with your teams, coaches, and players. Um, you know, if you guys, uh, one more thing, if, you know, if you're not familiar with, with who we are, it's, it's, it's Bad Baseball is the YouTube channel here. We'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and leave comments. Let us know what you think. Um, but also check out our website, selectbaseballteams.com. It's where we help players and parents and uh, teams all get connected. We've got a great resource for parents now, uh, helping build a database of coaches uh, so you can find coaches that are offering services and uh, you can rank them, see how well they did and that sort of thing. So it's not just services, but also how well they perform. Um, so, you know, we'd love for you guys to check that out again. That's selectbaseballteams.com. Uh, we've also got some other videos. I think they're going to be uh, to my right, my left, I don't know, one side here. Uh, there's some other videos that we post here. You can see some of the older stuff. You know, be sure to check those out when they show up. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good week.